The Daytime Emmy Award for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Drama Series is an award presented annually by the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences and Academy of Television Arts and Sciences. It is given to honor an actress who has delivered an outstanding performance in a supporting role while working within the daytime drama industry. At the 6th Daytime Emmy Awards held in 1979, Suzanne Rogers was the first winner of this award, for her role as Maggie Horton on Days of Our Lives. The award ceremony was not aired on television in 1983 and 1984, having been criticized for voting integrity. Following the introduction of a new category in 1985, Outstanding Younger Actress in a Drama Series, one criterion for this category was altered, requiring all actresses to be aged 26 or above. Since its inception, the award has been given to 35 actresses. General Hospital is the soap opera with the most awarded actresses, with a total of eight. In 1989, Nancy Lee Grant and Debbie Morgan made Daytime Emmy Award history when they tied in this category. Morgan also became the first African-American woman to have garnered the award. Julia Barr, Tamara Braun, Gran, Amelia Heinley, and Gina Tonioni are the only actresses to have won the award twice. Heinley is the only one to have won it, consecutively. Heather Tom and Melissa Claire Egan have the most nominations in this category, with a total of five. As of the 2021 ceremony, Marla Adams is the most recent winner in this category, for her role as Dina Abbott Mergeron on The Young and the Restless. Suzanne Rogers was the first winner, for her role as Maggie Horton on Days of Our Lives. Jane Elliott won in 1981, and was nominated three times, for her work on General Hospital. She was also nominated in 1989 for her work on Days of Our Lives. Jacqueline Zemon was nominated three times for her role as Bobby Spencer on General Hospital. Susan Haskell won in 1994 for her role as Marty Saybrook on One Life to Live. Rena Sofer won in 1995 for her role as Lois Cirillo on General Hospital. Michelle Stafford was nominated once, before winning in 1997, for her role as Phyllis Summers on The Young and the Restless. Victoria Rowell was nominated three times for her role as Drusilla Winters on The Young and the Restless. Tanya Lee Williams was nominated twice for her role as Olivia Barber Winters on The Young and the Restless. Crystal Chapel won in 2002 for her role as Olivia Spencer on Guiding Light. Kelly Ripa was nominated twice for her role as Haley Vaughn on All My Children. Sharon Case won in 1999 for her role as Sharon Newman on The Young and the Restless, having been nominated on two other occasions. Maura West was nominated twice for her role as Carly Tenney on As the World Turns. Katie McLean was nominated once for He Work All My Children, before winning in 2004 for her role as Rosanna Cabot on As the World Turns. Renee Elise Goldsbury was nominated twice for her role as Evangeline Williamson on One Life to Live. Jeannie Francis won in 2007 for her role as Laura Spencer on General Hospital. She was nominated once more, in 2012, for her role as Genevieve Atkinson on The Young and the Restless. Ariane Zucker was nominated twice for her role as Nicole Walker on Days of Our Lives. Nancy Lee Grant won in 1989 for her role as Julia Wainwright Capwell on Santa Barbara. She was later nominated twice more, in 2000 and 2011, later winning in 2012 for her role as Alexis Davis on General Hospital. After 26 years on the series, Catherine Kelly Lang was nominated in 2013 for her role as Brooke Logan on The Bold and the Beautiful. Jessica Collins was nominated in 2013, and won in 2016, for her role as Avery Bailey Clark on The Young and the Restless. Amelia Heinley won in 2014 and 2015 for her role as Victoria Newman on The Young and the Restless Kate Monsey won in 2017 for her role as Abigail Devereaux on Days of Our Lives. Cameron Grimes won in 2018 for her role as Mariah Copeland on The Young and the Restless Tamara Braun won the award twice, first in 2009, for her role as Ava Vitale on Days of Our Lives, and in 2020, for her role as Dr. Kim Nero on General Hospital. Listed below are the winners of the award for each year, as well as the other nominees. Thanks for watching.